Hello everyone and welcome to Teams Bits. This is going to be a video about uh, enabling the Teams add-in in some cases where the Teams add-in is not appearing on Outlook. So uh, this uh, it doesn't matter whether you're on Windows 10, Windows 11, on um, uh, Outlook 2016, uh, Outlook 2019, Outlook 365 or even Outlook uh, 365 for Enterprise. It's all the same. So the first thing that you would check uh, or see at your end that uh, the Outlook is add-in is missing from here. So this one will be missing. And also from your calendar. So the icon will be missing altogether from here. One of the first checks that uh, you should be able to do is to go into File. And then under Manage Com Add-ins over here, once you click here, you uh, probably will be able to see here the Teams add-in being disabled for some reason. Now I don't have the option here to show you because it's not disabled on my end, but there may be instances where uh, this uh, add-in will be disabled, so you'll be able to see it here. If you do, then uh, you will be able to click on Enable and then Done and Close. And after you've done that, if you go back, you will be able to see the Teams add-in appearing again. Uh, if it's still not appearing, then uh, go ahead and check on the add-ins from Options. So to do that, you just select File again, Options, which is down here, and then Add-ins, and then Go. So under Go, and once you click on OK, you will be able to see here this one as ticked. Now it's ticked on my end, but uh, if it's unticked, you just tick it and, and you OK that. After you've OK that, you should be able to see the Teams add-in appearing over here at the top straight away. Great. So um, um, other checks that you should be able to do from here on, if you're still not able to see it even though you've ticked it, uh, from here on you will be able to um, check on the Teams add-in but uh, you will need to have admin rights on your local machine. So the next step that I need you to check is from here. If you open File Explorer, um, go into, address bar, into the address bar over here and press percentage uh, local app data percentage backslash Microsoft. Or just click on here, and it should it should take you into your uh, local folder there. Uh, under there, you should be able to see a folder if you scroll down that's called the Teams Admin. So double click on that, and then that's your uh, add-in folder for Teams. What we need to see here is this uh, log for the Teams Admin installation. Once you double click on that, scroll all the way down at the bottom and check whether this one here, the last log, has successfully installed the Teams add-in. Now if it hasn't, if it's failed, um, what you can do in your end, um, and it's something that you can do as well if, even if you're not an admin on this the local machine, uh, I've taken a note of this one here. So I'll post this into our chat as well. Uh, actually, not on chat, but on the description of the video. Uh, I'll post this one here, which you can uh, copy it, go into the magnifier and paste it. So now you can run this one, but before you run it, um, you just press enter. Uh, I won't press enter, but on your end, you should uh, check this one and amend it according to your user ID. On that local machine. So change this one and also uh, this add-in here will need to be changed to your Teams add-in version. So to get your Teams add-in version, like I said earlier, back here it's this folder. Um, if you press uh, F2 on your keyboard or right click and then um, rename, it should be somewhere here, uh, where's the rename? Show more options. Yeah, 
so that's it and then rename or you can just select it and press F2 which will be a lot easier uh, to do that uh, control and C for copy to copy the highlighted text in there and then you would have to go back to that file path and then am amend this one accordingly right after you've changed all these you can just uh, highlight the whole thing copy it and run it from here so let me just go back copy it magnify icon and then press uh, after you pasted it here with control and v for victor just press enter and you should be able to have an okay message with this now i won't run it because you know i i don't have an issue with this one so uh, you after you press enter you should be able to press ok after that uh, and then close down outlook reopen it and you should be able to see the teams admin over here now after this if it's still not running you will need to have admin rights to run registry edit so registry edit is it's like the uh, this central part of uh, Windows where you have all of the window settings uh, over there depending on Windows or uh, any of the other apps so over here you just click on the magnifier and type in reg edit just open reg, reg editor from here I have that already opened and now what we need to do according to Microsoft Docs uh, which I'll post the link into the description of the video it's this link here um, the registry settings that we'll need to navigate uh, to check if the add-in has the correct setting is this one here and this setting will need to be set to 3 so let me go back there you'll need to navigate under your, uh, the current user or the user that corresponds from the users there to that local machine where you got your uh, Teams admin installed uh, and then Microsoft actually not Microsoft uh, software and then Microsoft under O we should be able to find Office Outlook add-ins and this is the key that we're looking for so if for some reason you're missing this one here you can go ahead and uh, manually create it so it needs to have this specific name which you'll see also on uh, the link to Microsoft um, if it hasn't just right click on add-ins and then new and key and create a new key altogether having this name right so uh, inside here obviously if you create it this will be empty but if it doesn't you'll need to add description friendly name and load behavior so typically on um, cases where the teams add-in has not loaded uh, over here the load behavior behavior will be something different apart from three if it's not three then just uh, just change it manually to three and then okay that if you don't see these here just create these as they should which i'll also put uh, the description on the description of the video uh, to 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 have this one I'll just open it so you can see it's just a string entry and this one here as well is just a string entry only this one here the load behavior that's a D word 32 value so for string entries you'll have to right click new and string value right and just name it uh, friendly name and also description as it's above I'll just press now uh, one here just to show you it uh, I'll then open this one copy that friendly name and then paste it so it needs to you know in this kind of manner you will have to create uh, these missing entries over here and for load behavior as well you will just right click new D word blah 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 and then three and that's uh, that's pretty much it how you add it i'll obviously delete these because they're not relevant uh, delete 
uh, once you do that, obviously I forgot to mention this, but you will have to have Outlook closed. So you just close Outlook and reopen it, and straight away you should be able to see the Teams add-in loaded. Now, um, this is like the long way around it. Uh, if you're uh, an admin of that machine and you can tweak the registry settings, but if you're just a user, uh, then all you can do on your end is to run uh, that command that we, we, which we saw earlier. And uh, if you can, which you shouldn't be uh, have any difficulties, you can uh, download the Teams ad, uh, the Teams uh, app. Uh, let me just go here from the web app. So if you go onto the Teams web app, uh, over here under the three dots, you should have the option to download the desktop app. So after you've downloaded the desktop app into whichever location you need to, run the installation of the Teams app and that will reinstall the Teams app altogether and uh, it also includes uh, the add-in package uh, inside the installer. So that should reinstall the Teams add-in if you still have issues uh, with it add-in not showing. And I think I've covered everything for that. So thanks again for watching and see you on the next one.